everyone, Caitlin here with Kate's Collectibles and Chewy is here today and we are opening up a couple of boxes of Disney hot cocoa pins. So these have been quite the hot ticket at Disney uh, since they came out. I had Beth Lung uh, from Beth's channel do a pickup for me. These along with a number of other things, the other things took much longer to get to me than they needed to because I was waiting on these cocoa pins. So yeah, um, it is a collection of basically characters as Coco, which is a little weird, but very cool because I have a snack collection. So you can see there's 12 pins in the set, two pins per box, pretty typical for these mystery pins. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of reflection. Again, it's very bright out. So something I've seen other people point out and I noticed as well, the Marie pin looks, she looks almost zombified. If you look at that, like look at, yeah, in the box picture, it's not so bad, but it does look a bit like goo <laughs> for Marie. So um, not hoping for that one. I'm really hoping for Stitch for my Stitch collection. Uh, I would like the Little Mermaid one. I also liked, I saw some people open the Winnie the Pooh and that one was actually much cuter than I thought it would be. My daughter has a bit of a Pluto collection, so he wouldn't be so bad. Chip and Dale is pretty cute. Mickey and Minnie and Donald, those are all really cute. Stitch is my number one. Any of the others, I'm pretty open to trade, to be honest. So I am just gonna get right into these and see what we get. Oh, these are big. I think it's because I've been opening Tiny Kingdom stuff, and so these feel huge to me. Now let's see if I can guess based on the back. Oh, I feel like this one is Stitch, you guys. I'm gonna open it first. I can't, I can't even. <gasps> it is, it's Stitch. Ah, everything else is gravy now. Look at that. That is the Stitch Coco. All blue with ears and like little peppermint looking things. Very excited. And I'll show you guys the back. I'll take his backer off. Here's the back of the pin. So it has the pin trading logo. It has the copyright Disney and an FAC. Nothing about it being a limited release. Maybe they're not. Who knows? Maybe they're going to keep getting them. I know they've had trouble keeping them in stock, but, you know, I, I don't know if that's for any particular reason. Oh, I should have guessed at this one before I started cutting it. I'll try and guess. Um, I feel a round part. Oh, I feel like this is going to be Marie. Ah, it's Marie. Okay, well, maybe I should start like a zombie collection. I know a lot of people love Marie and a lot of people love this pin. Like they're happy to collect her. So I feel like actually she should be very easy for me to trade away if anybody's looking for her. My daughter would probably like that pin too, actually, because she likes all things pink and cute and kitties and puppies and all that stuff is right up her alley. Ooh, there's paper falling out of this other box. I don't know why. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, I feel like this is another stitch. No way. Oh, God. oh, I didn't cut the bag enough. Come on. Come on out. Oh my gosh, you guys. So somewhere in the universe, someone heard my pleas. And I got another Stitch Coco. Look at that. That is crazy. What are the odds? Seriously. Okay. Now, is this going to be a double box? This does not feel like Marie. Not at all. So it can't be a double box. This one, maybe Ariel. That would be cool. I am really good at guessing today. Ariel, I got the Ariel pin. 
I love the dingle hopper handle. I know other people have mentioned that too. The little candy cane in the drink. Um, I've heard other people say like it kind of looks like she's been like dunked into the into the cocoa with the tail there. I like it though. It makes it extra obvious. And whatever, if I, if you gonna if you're gonna drown a mermaid, why not in hot cocoa? Because that seems like a delightful way to go. This is awesome. So I mean, I have two stitch, Marie and Ariel. So I'm very happy with this. I'll basically, I think, be able to trade the extra stitch and probably the Marie either for other hot cocos or for Tiny Kingdom or for maybe, I don't know, something else that I'm looking for. Uh, but those are really great. And I think that like the trading aspect of the ones I got that I don't love or, or don't want because I'm not trying to complete the collection. I love the snacks but I don't need all the snacks, like 12 Cocos. Come on, I, I don't need a full set. I would be willing to trade for sure for like Minnie or Donald or um, Winnie the Pooh. So I don't know, I, whatever. Like once I have the pins, I'm pretty flexible on what I'm trading them for as long as it's something that I like. So uh, yeah, this is like a really successful pin opening. I got the one I wanted right off the bat. I got two of the one I wanted and I got one of the other ones that I really liked. And just one that I was like, yeah, you know, not, not so great. So really good pin opening. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the pin openings, if you like me doing the reviews on the Disney dolls, on Sailor Moon stuff, on any of that, please, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get my updates when they come. They come really regularly and then really not regularly. <laughs> so I'm a little hit and miss on depending on how much pin jail or, or doll jail I'm in. Uh... Yeah, and of course, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which of the Coco pins are your favorite. What one are you looking for? And as always, if you hit that like button, it just makes me smile. So thanks for watching.